Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys something that I did last night because I really did not like the way the wings turned out. There was too much bulk uh, all around the edge and it was causing it to crinkle up like this in ways I couldn't even flatten it out smooth if I wanted to. So I experimented a little bit and I discovered that on row nine, no, row eight, where it says to repeat row six, I do not. Instead, I went back to just chaining one between each double crochet. And as far as the pico goes, they want you to work three single crochet between the chain twos and then a pico. I dropped it down to two single crochet and then a pico between the chain ones. And I did that with all of them and look, look at the difference. You don't even have to starch it and press it. It's, it's perfectly fine now, look at that. It's just as the picture looks. You can curl the ends up. They already kind of curl up on their own, as you can see. That one's a little bit flat, but yes. So, together, what I did with these is exactly what it said to sure it. Um, which when I looked that up, that meant to just gather. So I gathered each wing and then ran the, you know, whenever we're done making these, we have a tail. I kept the tail and I used the tail to sew, you know, back and forth and back and forth like this with each wing. And then I did the same. I see how I, you can see here how it's kind of, I've gathered it at the bottom and then sewn the individual wings then I sewed the wings together like it instructs on here. The small um, wing is really, really easy, so I didn't feel I needed to film making the small uh, wing. I keep wanting to say leaf because they kind of look like leaves right now. So for the small wing, it basically says to work as for large wings until six rows are completed. On your seventh row, make your basically make your pico make your pico round. So that's why I didn't feel the need to film anything for the small wings because you can just go back to the last video and watch how to make these, but you may already remember because I completely remembered. I was able to make this just off of memory. So I've made both wings. I made one little wing. I didn't make a fourth wing yet. That's because I kind of wanted to jump ahead a little bit because again, I'm running out of daylight. My days have been starting later and later. Um, I wanted to get into showing you guys how to make the body. <clears throat> then it wants you to sew the two long ends of the body together, stuffing with several strands of thread and making sure to keep one end of the body pointed. Sew the body in place over joined wings, having a pointed end of body even with bottom edge of small wings. Roll and sew ends of antenna to form small knobs. By the way, the antenna, if you want to work on ahead, the antenna is chain 50, single crochet, and second chain from the hook, and in each chain across and break off. So that's what they want you to do for the antenna. Then they want you to physically, physically curl the ends of the antenna down. You know, so, gosh, I don't know. Part of me wants to keep going with this. Part of me wants to just try it my own way. Okay, you have the instructions for this. Let me come back. Let me try it my own way and come back and show you what the difference looks like. You might like it better. Okay, so tell me what you think. I just started, I chained, I chained 50 and I worked a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and in that same stitch I put two more double crochet that I've been putting three double crochet in every single stitch down and looky there it's already starting to curl without stuffing it it looks like the right size so let me show you what I'm doing because the first the first stitch after you've worked your three double crochet is kind of hard to find. So if you're interested in doing this way, I'm going to show you. It is mashed up 
and kind of being pulled taunt because of all the pressure from this stitch being overstuffed. But it is right here on the other side of my thumbnail there. And it is a little tight to get into, but once you're in there, you're in there. And I just, look at that, it stretches right, right up. And I'll just work three stitches, three double crochet into that one stitch in every stitch down. No stuffing, no sewing. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to sew it to the, to the butterfly, but we're not gonna have to like sew it shut. And I think this is easier. You guys feel like cheating with me? What do you think? Should we cheat? kind of like it. Work three double crochet in every single stitch down. And it, this exact same pattern to do this is a, it's like a, a whirly wind type pattern where you know you can put some weights on the bottom of it and hang it up outside as like a, a chime and it, it spins in the wind. You know it's like a corkscrew pattern. I made some Christmas decorations using sparkle yarn a few Christmases back. I'm using this method to make this like little curly cue. And the first one's a little difficult to get into, not the first one of the chain, but just the first one, you know, right after you packed the last stitch with three double crochet. The next one over is a little bit fiddly to get into, but you can do it. I think this is going to be much faster and much easier than what the book was, what the pattern was calling for. No offense to the pattern. I really and truly mean that. There we go. So I'm going to do this all the way down and then I'm going to put it up against the butterfly and see how it looks. I still have to make that second small wing. Okay, let me get this last stitch in here and I'm gonna grab the glove and actually show you how it, everything is looking so far. Okay, let's curl it up. You just twist it and it curls it up. Look at that. I mean, okay, like this is the way I'm making this, this body. That's all there is to it. It's all, I mean, it doesn't look much different than hers. Do I really even need to go any more inches? I mean, I feel like I'm basically there. I don't think I do need to go any more inches on there. Well, it does, seems like, it does seem like it needs to come past the tail quite a bit or come past the bottom wings quite a bit more. So it does need, I, again, okay, I, I, I stick to my original recommendation. I would start off with a chain of 60 or 65 instead of 50 like I did. But look how cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's really coming together. you guys think I just finished up tonight that's why it looks a little yellowy and dark right now but I did take some pictures where I was able to edit them to look like it was daylight so you'll get to see like the bright whiteness of the Love. This is like my only, you know, ah, if I could just, oh, look at my pretty gloves. <laughs> but here they are from the side. 
from the top. Really didn't have to starch them at all. Got the antenna on there. I'm going to explain how I put it all together. But there they are. I absolutely, oh God, I love this so much. Okay, here is how I assembled everything. I'll bring you back down so you can get a nice close look. Ooh, mount bounce. Okay, so I went ahead and finished making the body. Now I'll tell you, this is a chain of 60 plus three for the first double crochet. So I chained 63 and in the fourth chain from the hook, I put three double crochet in that chain. Then I put three double crochet in every single chain to the end. At the end, my I had two tails. I went ahead and weaved them in and I closed off because this was kind of wide open. So I used the tails to sew it shut. Now, as far as the antenna go, that's chain 50. Then I curled in the tips like it said to and just took a little piece of thread with a needle and went back and forth a few times, went side to side a few times to kind of lock it in and cut on both. Um, everything is stitched down, including the tail, with just put your, I would, well, first of all, the wings are stitched in just one little stitch in. I would come through and grab like a whole, I would grab like a whole bar. So that's how I have it weaved in where I would go in and then come up and grab a whole bar like this with, I didn't use this. I used a sewing needle, an actual sewing needle you know, and I had to, where you at? I had to use one of these to thread it. So that worked out for me pretty well, but I would go, well, first of all, first things first, I took some stitch markers and I clipped down the wings to the whole thing front and back, and that includes the other side of the glove, just to keep everything stiff and stable. While I was sewing though, I had my hand in here like this to, so that I wouldn't, you know, make a connection to the uh, front of the glove, to the palm. So I would go in like this, then I would come up through a whole bar just like this and pull through. Then I would come back around the bar and come through one of the like bottom of the little pico or just through a whole pico sometimes. And that is how I did it all the way around. I did sew the, I sewed it to the ends here so that they're not loose, they're not open. That way it would hold around the wrist better. And this portion here is not sewn down, but that's because the top of the wing is doing a pretty good job holding everything. And before I sewed the whole butterfly to the glove, I first sewed the antenna down. I folded it in half like a little V and I put it down on, on the tip here. This is as far down as the antenna goes right here. So that is what I, so I just kept going back and forth. You really can't see it. So you don't have to be nice and neat about it. And then I sewed the um, body to everything with one one or two stitches between each or anchoring down each coil. And so I sewed the body to the butterfly just the same way, just in and out. I would I would come up with the needle and anchor myself through the bottom of, of a piece of coil and then just come right back down the back side. The the I'd go in this way and come out that way after anchoring a piece of the coil. And I went ahead and did the wings first, and then I came back and sewed the tail down. And there you go. That's how you're gonna sew it, everything on there. They don't give any instructions on how to sew it to the glove. And you guys probably didn't even need me to go over that with you. But just in case, I know that sometimes a little extra help helps me. But here she is, all done. 
I just have to make the second one. Okay, guys, I love you so much. So, 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 so much. And make them. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.